Hello everyone, Jean back here again. And today I'd like to talk about, for you guys that have um, Altium Designer connected to Concord Pro, how you guys are creating new components, how are you guys matching parameters that are coming from our online library into your component templates. Okay, I'm sure that by now you guys are taking as much um, advantage of our online library, which has over 600,000 components, and then bringing whatever components you find there that you're looking for into your Concord Pro, into or making it your own component, right? So I'm just going to show, show you guys today how you can manipulate so when you bring in parameters from our online library, they match up the ones you have in your uh, component template and you don't end up having um, all those parameters that you don't want to have or have a consistent component template where for every single, let's say, capacitor or any component type you have, you have the same set of parameters. Okay, how can you do that? So I'm not going to cover today creating a component template. That's going to be covered in another a different video. But I'm going to open up one here, uh, capacitors uh, component template, just so I can illustrate better what I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so I have the component template here, creating a uh, my comp my item ID with a prefix, predefined prefix 001 for my capacitors, and all these list of parameters that I'm creating, right? So what I want to do at the end of the day is bring in capacitors from the online library, but I want them to be matching as many parameters as possible with the ones I created for the um, uh, component template. How can you do that? So if I go ahead and try to create a new component, right? It's going to ask me what component type it is. I'm going to select capacitors because it's the one we're working with. And it's going to bring in the um, my component template for capacitors with all the predefined parameter set. Uh, and even in a pre-selected uh, symbol in this case. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a, or select the part choice, right? So let's look for something very common, uh, 10 micro 603. Okay, so having a look at uh, the existing parameters I have defined on my component template, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select any one of the components I have in the library, online library here, and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to ask me, the, very, the most important thing here is to check this box. So you only import values matching the ones in your... Uh, component template okay so if I do that it's gonna try to match up the ones I have but I need to make sure that the name is gonna match if it doesn't match it's not gonna fill out those fields there is a workaround though and I'm gonna show you today so I'm gonna just click uh, bring in the parameters and I'll see the ones that are not fitting and then I'll show you guys how you can fix that problem Clicking here, I know it goes up to my parameter set goes up to voltage rating. So my voltage rating, you know, it's it's being filled out with 10 volt. But I can see that, let's say, mountain technology that should work as mount, it's not. Uh, pins, which should be, it's coming as number of pins, it's not, right? And then also value, it's not, but value could be used as, or um, should be, using the capacitance um, value. So let's try to fix the, this one up. I'm going to get into my preferences. I'm going to go into data management and part providers. Okay. When you get to part providers, the bottom section where it says parameters import options, we want the parameters coming from the manufacturers to match the ones in our template. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're just going to do a translation here. Right, so we're going to say, okay, what's the parameter coming from the online library? One is a, uh, it's coming as mount, okay? And in our template is uh, mounting technology, for, for instance, 
Okay, I'm going to make that visible. Another one that we looked at was uh, number number of pins, right? And in our in the in our library, it's just called pins. The other one was um, value coming as capacitance. Capacitance should match up with our value. And in case it's a resistor, it's good as well if we can create the um, the one for the resistor that should be resistance, right? Resistance also matches value. So we, you guys can check that out later on. Value. Um, and there is one for resistors as well that I checked before, which was uh, coming from the online saying as um, power. It actually comes out as power rating. And in our template, it says power. Okay, so this is a presetting you're going to have to do once, right? But once you have this list completed, you won't need to worry about any of these anymore. Okay, so now I can go and click um, apply or OK. And now let's create a new one. A new capacitor. I'm going to pretty much select the same thing. I'm going to go add a power choice. 10 micro, 0603, exact same. The second choice, just as I did on the other um, component, import values only, use only parameters. You see now that the value is being transferred over the, val uh, the voltage rating, the, um, what else, pins that was not being brought in here. You can check and compare with this one right so that's pretty much how you fix those parameters of course that some of them um, are not going to match in, especially if you have something such as internal part number the one that you really want the user to manually fill out when creating the component but for all the other ones that we have access from the online library you should be matching them so you get a very, very consistent library with the consistent number of parameters across every single component you have. Okay? Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.